Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is the final video that I'm gonna be posting on the shard. I flew it for like 13 times, 12 times till now. And I believe I've made, or, or I got a really good idea by now on how this thing flies, its shortcomings, you know, what are the things to improve? Uh, what should you do to successfully maiden it? So let me go ahead and start. I'm going to start with the very basics. Uh, maybe I spoke about them in the previous video, but I'm going to just repeat them very quickly for those that haven't seen the previous videos. So the first thing, which is really critical and important, the motor mount, which is here. Make sure to print that motor mount using PEG. Do not print it with PLA as recommended by the designer because PLA is going to get soft in the heat and then the motor will be basically ripped out of its place uh, in the front. That's the first thing. Be very careful about that. The other thing is when I printed this airplane uh, for the first time, I used black low weight PLA. Very bad idea. Don't do that. Always use white or light colored low weight PLA. The reason is the first time I printed it, the horizontal stabilizer here in the back melted in the sun and bent downwards. This didn't happen this time because light or white low weight PLA reflects heat. It doesn't absorb it. And, and hence, I didn't see any kind of warping. I didn't see any kind of melting for, for white colors. So really good, good learning for me on that. Now, uh, the most important thing for me for this plane and maybe the, the reason why I wouldn't recommend it for beginners is that this is not fine tuned in the sense of how, in the sense of the angle of incidence for the main wings or even for the horizontal stabilizer. The, I don't, I'm going to explain to you why. The plane has a CG range, as you can see. So when I made them this airplane, I balanced. I balanced it around the front CG. This is how it always start. So I balanced it around the front CG and I flew it and it flew beautifully. I mean, it's light, it's powerful, it tracked really nice, it flew beautifully. It can do all the 3D maneuvers you can think of with one problem. When you want to land and you turn upwind and then kill the throttle, the plane isn't gonna glide down. It's going to continue flying straight. It wants to basically float with the front, even with the front CG. It wants to keep flying straight. It wants to float even with no throttle at all, which means that it's going to keep flying straight and lose speed until we get to a point where the wings cannot generate enough lift. <clears throat> and then the plane is going to drop, which is not how a 3D airplane should be designed. So I thought maybe I made a mistake or maybe the designer uh, made a mistake around the CG. So let's try to do something else. Why don't we add more weight to the nose to see how will the airplane behave when you want to land, when you basically kill the throttle and watch it glide. So I've increased the weight in the nose to the point that the CG became even more forward and I flew with it uh, and I flew this plane again. And this time, when I turn the, uh, upwind and I basically kill the throttle, yes, the plane would start to glide down, which is the right behavior. But what happened is, which is really bad, when you are actually in flight and with this extra weight in the nose, the plane will basically uh, not fly well at all because there's a lot of weight in the nose. Uh, so for example, when you're trying to fly and when you want to turn, when you, when you roll the aircraft, the nose would immediately drop down because of the incremental weight in the nose. So that what I'm trying to say is you add nose to the weight to, so that it would behave properly on landings, which it does if you add weight, but then it doesn't fly well at all uh, aside from the landing, aside from landing. Whenever you want to turn, it's nose heavy, it drops down. If you want to basically hover it, it's, uh, it's not going to hover because there's a lot of weight in the nose. So... And that is what indicated to me that there is an issue with the angle of incidence with the, with the main wing. 
So maybe you don't need to put a lot of weight in the nose because it flies beautifully without it, but it cannot land properly because of what I've just described. So maybe the angle of incidence for the wings needs to be adjusted. And this is why I would not recommend this airplane for beginners, uh, but I would rather recommend it for somebody who is more experienced because, you know, for this to fly properly, you have to balance it around the front CG and then it's going to fly beautifully, but then landing isn't that easy, okay? You'll have to actually push it down with the stick. It's not going to glide down. You will have to push it down and then make sure that, you know, you don't crash it when you when you push it down. Uh, one of the other things that I just remembered around this airplane, which is also very important and critical, is this. The landing gear structure is not strong enough. It's, it's actually very weak. And if you, if you have even the mildest rough landing, this center uh, piece of the fuselage will crack at this point and at this point. And then you'll have to go through the trouble of actually cutting this piece out, printing a new piece, and then uh, gluing it all together. And the workaround I've done around this is this string here that you see. So whenever the airplane lands, if it's a little bit of a rough landing, the string will prevent those, uh, you know, landing gears from extending outwards and cracking the fuselage. So this really worked very well. This is something that you also want to consider if you want to design, if you want to basically print and fly this airplane. And those are my thoughts on this. If you still, if you're still planning on printing this, good luck. I hope my notes or my thoughts would benefit you. Uh, if you have any feedback on what I just said, if you disagree, if you agree, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I would love to have a discussion with you around this. Thank you very much. If you've liked this video, please click on like and subscribe. That would definitely benefit the challenge. Thank you again and have a lovely rest of your day.